going in to Cape Coral Hospital now to receive my radioactive iodine. I'm late. I'm 15 minutes late because I was pulling. Um, I had, of course, all my snakes decided that they were going to lay eggs on the day I have to go in for a, for a radioactive iodine treatment. And, and, and of course, I can't go back to my house now. I can't even go near the snakes or any of my animals or any of my kids because I'll be radioactive for two days. So once I take this pill, I have to then, I have a hotel booked. I'm going to head over to the hotel and hopefully I can check in. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting in my car sleeping. Although I do love to sleep in my car. That was my one of my favorites that I actually gave up when I uh, had kids and had no time left. My favorite thing was to drive up to the gym, keep the car on, put some music on and just lay back and sleep and then go into the gym and train. That was my best uh, pre-workout secret. When I would get out of the car, I'd usually have a suck down a protein shake and go into the gym. Anyway, I'm going to go in. Hopefully, I, I know Amanda used to work here, so she knows some of the people here. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to get some VIP treatment here. From what I understand, they just pop a pill in your mouth and then uh, they kick you out. So let's see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm here in the hospital, back here in radiology, and they're going to be uh, giving me some radioactive iodine. I'm not going in that big machine now. I'll get scanned next week. And. Just waiting, I'm getting all the rules, what, what I can and can't do. These clothes are gonna wind up in the garbage, unfortunately, probably, but. Now I found, I thought I was gonna go home on Sunday night. I'm gonna stay out an extra day, because they say three days is probably a good idea. And then I still have to worry about, you know, bodily fluids and stuff like that, but I should be fine. I'm actually gonna come back here, because uh, Amanda worked here at the hospital, and she knows something they're gonna actually Geiger counter me on Monday see if I'm still radioactive. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be at that point. So it should be, uh, should be interesting. So I'm waiting right now for the doctor to come in because what happens is the doctor has to give me the radioactive iodine. They basically pop a pill in my mouth. I swallow it then I get at it and they kick me out of here. And the trick is to continue to drink lots of fluids. Stay, you know, because fluids flush the stuff out of your body. The more you flush, uh, the quicker the stuff gets out of your body. And that's the key. So I, I didn't, you know, I didn't even ask him if, if I'm going to have any. I was so worried about the contamination aspect. I haven't even asked him if, how I'm going to feel on this stuff. If I'm going to have any side effects. And next time when he comes back in, we'll ask. All right, let's uh, let's. I'm waiting for him to come back in the room here. All right, so I just talked to uh, Percy, my uh, my radiology guy here, and he told me my sneakers are fine. I don't have to throw my sneakers out, so that's good. They won't be radioactive. <laughs> I was worried. I have a brand new pair of Nikes on. I asked him if, uh, how I would feel from the actual radiation they're giving me, this little radioactive iodine pill. And so you won't even know you're on it. I guess if you have a thyroid and they give it to you, and what happens is the thyroid, uh, the radioactive iodine destroys the thyroid gland, you could possibly start releasing tons of thyroid hormone into your bloodstream. And you can get like what's called a thyroid storm, where you have like a, you know, an arrhythmia, or your heart starts beating really fast. But that's not the case because they've taken my entire thyroid gland out. So I might have a couple cells or a little bit left, but I'm not going to really said, notice that I'm on this radioactive iodine, which is which is good. I'm glad I don't have any. I'm not going to have any uh, side effects from it or, or any bad feelings. But it, it's kind of also not good because it's it's kind of like this invisible thing that's going on in my body that I'm not even aware of. And so we'll see when I get scanned uh, next Friday. They'll be able to see exactly where this radioactive iodine went. So if I had any cells that moved or went any place that they shouldn't have gone, they'll be able to detect right, that. Right here, oh, it is. Oh, there it is. Radioactive iodine. Look at that thing. Straight wow. from the power plant. There Straight you go. from the power I'm, plant. I'm getting radiated. You gotta drink you that. Oh, you getting radiated? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I gotta drink this. I gotta drink my plant. Here we go. In my mouth. I just swallowed the radioactive iodine. It's in my body. Percy's bringing the the, the Geiger counter in here. Let's see if I if I up. Oh, I'm already going off. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll walk away. That's it. All done. I swallowed my pill. Left. They kicked me out of the hospital. They said, "Get out of here." <laughs> now, I I could go out in, in public. I just have to. You know, it's 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 great because with these COVID times, everyone's social distancing anyway. So. 
as you saw with the little Geiger counter test we did, six feet away, I have no, no one's being exposed to any radioactivity of mine, and that's good. Um, I don't feel any different right now. I'm gonna go buy a big case, a couple of cases of water so I can really hydrate well, flush this stuff out of my body as quickly as possible. I'll go back on Monday. They'll scan me just to see if I'm radioactive so I can go home. So now I'm gonna be out for three nights. Hopefully the hotel I'm staying at will be able to extend my stay. And on Sunday, actually, I'm gonna be going uh, to go see my good friend, Tom Crutchfield and um, interact with some of his cool wildlife he has there. Since I'm not able to do anything else anyway. Can't go anywhere. Can't hang out with my kids and my family. Can't hang out with my my wife, Amanda, on Mother's Day. Kind of a little depressing, but you know what? Dying of cancer is way more depressing, so. <laughs> if this is gonna take care of that, and get rid of any residual cells that might be left, hopefully none are left, but if there are, then it was all worth it. So that's my update for the day. Let's get, let's get this depressing stuff out of the way. We have a big show coming up, the Indie Pro. And I, I might even uh, interview Blessing Wabadoo a little later. I'm going to try to make that happen when I get to my hotel, assuming I have a good Wi-Fi connection. And uh, I encourage you guys to go uh, watch the sign up for the, the live stream, so we can watch. We can actually watch a real bodybuilding show for the first time this year. We got to wait till May. Can you believe it? Next week's New York Pro. So it's all good. That's my update, Dave Palumbo, with an RX Muscle News update on myself.